Ooh, pretty fairy on the screen. Must get the pretty fairy. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwat the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So, last time, we got started on our little side quest, getting some more, getting some pose, and we got a few more pieces of heart. I think we got more pieces of heart. No, we only got one piece of heart, and we got ourselves a big quiver from performing a mini game, and we turned in more golden bugs, and we also got a brand new hidden skill from the Hero Shade. So, now we're going to be doing more side quest stuff. But before we do that, though, let's take a little detour into the Lanayru Spring. Because there's actually a, a little bit of a reward, a reward for you if you do so explore proper. So, in order to get this reward, you have to go to the left side of the spring. And you have to use your claw shot in order to reach up to here. <laughs> And now, we gotta climb up here, and we can go up here to the secret room. Secret door, secret door, secret door! Okay. So, with that, we now have this room. There's a couple of treasure chests here, and that is a blue rupee, which we don't even need. And I don't understand how it could have possibly done that without the, uh... But you can't put it in a wallet and it must be put back. And we got more bombs here. But what's really important here are these torches that you have to light up. So, you gotta light up this torch. Gotta light this torch. And sure enough, we get a treasure chest appearing. So, with that and for our efforts, we get ourselves another piece of heart. So that is very, very good indeed that we have this. Can we actually warp? I think we can. Can we actually warp out of here? Yeah, we can. Okay. So we could use this little warping thing as a shortcut in order to get to other places. <laughs> Alright. Because, well, we got a lot more pose to deal with. Because that's just what we do. And I'm saying that a lot, so I really need to stop that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got another Poe that's over there. So, let's see, can we probably really line this up? Yep, we can. And we can do that. And we can jump over here. So, ow. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves another Poe here. So, let's do this. And let's do it. Finish it off and bite it so we can sniff the Poe's soul into oblivion and beyond. To oblivion and beyond, because that is just how we do. I'm so random, I swear to God. <laughs> but anyway, uh, technically we don't have to do this until a later point, but as we're here right now, I do want to get this out of the way. So, let's go ahead and climb up here. And, look at that, the moon. It's the moon. Hooray. Because, well, if you take a look over here, there's a howling statue right there. And if you take a look over here, there is a cave right here that we can go into. Now, I don't want to go there quite yet because I want to save it for a different video. So, yeah. What am I doing transforming a human? I want to be a wolf. Because wolf is technically faster. Yeah, so, this is basically introducing a new speedrunning tactic. We gotta... We gotta now transform into a wolf anytime we gotta dash. So, yeah. Boosh. And another pole soul. And let's see, what does that bring us up to? Seven, okay. So we're pretty much on our way to 20. So let's see. Alright, so now we got this other howling statue that we have to deal with now. And this right now is my favorite wolf song in the game. So let's see. Huh, I thought I was going to fail that, actually. <laughs> Honestly thought I was going to fail that, but... To be honest, I didn't. And ooh, what's that in the background? Maybe we'll go see that later, but anyway. Favorite wolf song time.
I don't know why, but I do like that song a lot. I don't know, maybe it's because it's an original composition rather than a wolf version of an older song. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, anyway, now we have that, we've unlocked a new golden wolf. However, it's in a place that we haven't been to yet. Hmm. Maybe we'll go see later on what that place is. Maybe? Well, of course we will! <laughs> Why else would you think that wolf is there? To... to freaking glitch the game? I don't know. But anyway, uh, we do have one more, uh, Poe to deal with in this area. So, we might as well go ahead and take care of that right now, and- oh, hello. Hi. I didn't- I don't mean to talk to you, sir. Or ma'am. Hello, 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 hello! I am Plum. I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake. Wanna hear about- no, I don't wanna hear about it right now, thank you. Not right now, thank you, sir. Uh, oh, hey, we scared the old dude. We scared the old fart. Uh, I'm actually wondering if we could take care of this Poe right now, actually. Uh, I don't think we can, actually. We need to, we need to freaking go up there and, uh, do the thing. Yeah, we need to, we need to, like, go up to the cannon place and, uh, go to the, uh, chicken place to do the, 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 the chicken yeah <laughs> so I'll be right I'll be right back after we get the chicken to do the chicken thing we fly into the sky and ah! and yes Link's yell can happen every time you descend pretty well like, oh ah that's gotta leave a mark dude sorry about that Sorry, but what I'm not sorry for is this Poe. This Poe can go ahead and go to die for all I care. Wee! Hooray. That's another Poe to get. Let's see what this guy has to say. Are you winning lots of rupees? No, I'm not, because I already have plenty of rupees, thank you very much. Mr. Chicken. Anyway, let's now go to that bird, Plum, because he has something for us, actually. So, if he can appear any time... Oh, oh, where is he? Ah, there he is. Oh, you're back? Oh, was there something you needed from... Yes, I do. Listen to the rules of whatever this is. This attraction is all about popping balloons. <laughs> Look at Lincoln and us. They're just, like, pooping around. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, this is a balloon popping game. If you break the same type of balloon twice in a row, you get double the points, but only up to ten times. If you hit a wall, and it's over. You'll get two points, and you have to press B to start at the beginning. Let's see if you get over 10,000 points. Okay. So the game starts once you fly into the air. So, of course, this means we have to call a certain bird. Unfortunately, this is not a trumpet bird, so unfortunately, I can't get my money's worth. But don't you worry. It's all free. And it's all worth it to, 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 to complete the game. Because we need to complete the game. Anyway, now we got a Kargarok here that we can ride upon in order to do this little mini game that we got to do. Which, again, this is pretty much meaning I won't be going for the uh, pointer controls because, well, it's much easier for me to control this without the pointer. So, let's do this thing. Anyway, this game. This game is kind of sort of hard. I only say kind of sort of hard because if you run into a wall, it's all over. And, yeah. So anyway, this game. This game involves you having to break balloons, and you have to break certain types of balloons in a row. You want to get these strawberry balloons, because strawberry balloons are worth the most. If you break the same type of balloon more times in a row, up to ten times, you'll get combo points. So, I got 20, 40, and so on and so forth, and it just keeps doubling until you get up to 10 times. If you get over 10,000 points, you'll receive your prize. You can pretty much go at this at any... Oh, thank God. <laughs> if you go... You can go at this at any... Pa at any sort of... Leisure pla place... Pace. But your main goal is to get up to 10,000 points. Once you get up to 10,000 points, you pretty much got your reward in your money's worth. So, I already got my 10,000 points, so I don't even need to 
to get more combo points. Well, actually, I think I may need to just in case. But I think I'll save that until, like, pretty much, like, the end of this. Maybe. Probably, maybe, yeah. So, we gotta go up here to get more of these strawberry balloons. Because that's just how we do. And with that, we're pretty much done. This minigame isn't really too hard. You just have to learn how to control your bird properly. Um, if you're... If you're doing this with the uh, pointer controls, it can get a little bit hard because, well, you gotta freaking control it with the pointer. And you may not have steady hands, so it could be a little tough. But at the same time, though, it's not really all that bad if you have, well, regular controls on. What? No way! 30,732 points? You got more than 10,000 points. Wow. Here, take this. But don't think I'm getting you this just because I like you or anything. That's what they all say. Anyway, we got ourselves another full heart container. So that's 20 pieces of heart that we got now. No, I am not completely hooked. Therefore, I will never do this game again. <laughs> I am not playing this game again. I am sorry, folks. Anyway, uh, there's another Poe here that we have to get right now. So we might as well go ahead and get it. Well, we probably have to get it before the sun rises, because I want to get that pole right before the sun rises, because I... because... because the sun rises are a bad thing. Okay, now let's do it. I said, let's do it. Dude, okay, there we go. There we freaking go. Huzzah! Another pole sold for the road. Hooray! I am not sucking. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, what else is there to do now that we can do at this point? Because it, it, because it is getting to be that time of morning, and I, and I don't really think I. Well, actually, if I if I hurry up the pace, I think I can get this last pole. I probably won't, but I'll try. And I can't. Nope. I can't. But now I should. Now it's probably time to mention that there are stronger enemies at Hyrule Field now. So. Yeah, there are stronger enemies here at Hyrule Field right now, so... If you want to do so, you can do it. But anyway, uh... Now's the proper time to actually go elsewhere. And where is elsewhere? Well, how about Kakariko Village? Because there is actually something that we can do there. So, let's go ahead and do it. The power of editing. But either way, uh, I might as well, uh, is that one up, actually? Yeah, there is. I think. Okay, so, if you try to go into the village as a wolf... Whoa! It, it's a monster! Everybody run! Yep. Everyone will freaking go away, and you won't get any business until you leave said area. Sucks. No, it, it doesn't suck. It sucks for everybody. Because, well, it just sucks for everybody. But anyway, we pretty much have to go around Kakariko Village as as normal Link. So, yeah, pretty much have to do that. Anyway, uh, there is actually stuff that we can do in Kakariko Village right now. So, might as well go ahead and do so right now. So, let's see. What do we got that is here? And, hey, it's the old dude. How's it going, dude? Welcome to Malomart! I've heard from a reliable source that shops in Hyrule Castle Town are bu- are- blah, blah blah blah. Are gorging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of comerants. Fear not, brother. For Malomart has proposed a townspeople relief plan as an answer to the lamentations of the common man. Phase 1! Repair the broken bridge leading from West Castle Town to the field in order to improve traffic. Yeah, remember that bridge we saw before? So, yeah. Phase 2! Buy that Castle Town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You've heard me right, brother. There is a problem, however. The finances for the execution of this glorious plan are LACKING! Please, brother, offer some financial support to aid in the purchase of the Castletown shop for the benefit of the people. 
All right, so this little donation thing. We need a thousand rupees in order to finance the repairs of the bridge. So let us donate. Uh, let's see. Are there any sort of mini games that I could do that cost money? There probably aren't. So I'm gonna do the honorable. I'm gonna do a heart, a heart of goodness, and give away all of my money. Yep. So with that, there are only 429 rupees left in order for financing. All I hear is the sound of my money drop to shit. Hmm. How painful, painful it is for all of us to waste money and blah blah blah. I don't really care. Yeah, I just don't care, folks. Anyway, uh, we could have time for one more thing, actually. So, again, we can't warp to the Bridge of Elden, but... I think we can actually go to another place that is open right now to us, and wait, is there actually stuff to do? Uh, I'm trying to think of some other place things that we can do right now. Actually, I think we can, actually, I think we can do something right now. It is a little optional thing that you can do to get yourself some rupees. So, I am actually going to go ahead and meet you guys back at the Great Bridge of Hylia. Oh, right. I freaking forgot. I need the money. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, well. And, wait. I cannot warp now. Oh, right. That dude is watching us. Yeah. Boo. Boo on that. And, yeah, we can actually warp now. Boo! I need money! Shit! <laughs> oh, well. Might as well warp to Castle Town and get to the Bridge of Hylia that way. Alright, so... Now that we're back here at the Great Bridge of Hylia, let's see what we can do. We can actually do this. Blow up some enemies that they don't even know the explosions. And we can actually go ahead and de-equip our lantern. And let's turn our pointer back on, because I love me precision aiming with shit. So, anyway, now we have to... What we have to do is we have to hookshot all the way up here. Alright, so... Now that we hookshot all the way up here, we have to almost drop down here. And we have to mosey along right over to this little thing right here. And once we've done that, we can now open our way to this treasure chest, which contains an orange rupee. So it's definitely well worth your time to actually go here and do this kind of crap. And you know what? Bullshit. I can go for as long as I want. I might as well show off this. I might as well show off this. Because, well, remember what I said before about having you defeat all the Gways that are here? I want to at least show this off. You know, just in case you're ever in need of money. And this can happen, like, anytime you boot up the game. So, should you ever be in need of the money, you can actually go over, go over to anywhere there is Gways. And... You can just kill them all in order to get in order to get some money. So is that it? No, there isn't. All right, one more. Yeah, friggin' one more. Awesome. And wait, is that it? Seriously? Okay, no, there isn't. Uh, or did I miss the word entirely? Did I? Did I? Because I think I actually need to beat that one more guy. That one more guy. That makes sense. Okay, let's do this. I said, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Or is it not here? Okay, I completely wasted your guys' time. <laughs> yeah. That's me, because I am the grand old time waster. I can do whatever the heck I want, so long as I waste your time, your guys' time doing so. Because that's just how I am. Why is the enemy music still playing? I don't really freaking get it. Anyway. Alright, so now that we've gone enough time as it is doing more side quests done, we're ready to stop this episode here. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to do, well, more side quest stuff. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to get that orange rupee that I missed off screen. 
so that I can have a bit more money so that we can do more stuff with. And of course, this means we're going to turn in more golden bugs next time, okay? So, I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Shut up, enemy music. I know your enemies are there. Shut up. See you guys next time. Bye.